A Buffalo family went decades without seeing their late father's Purple Heart Medal. I'm Derek Hyde, bringing you this priceless medal's return to its rightful owners. Thank you so much for everything that you've all done for our family. I really can't even tell you how, how proud and how happy I am to have this back. He loved this country, and I know that he would be so proud. I wish he could be here. Lynn Libzinski's late father, Stanley, was a World War II veteran. In 1944, just before his 20th birthday, he went on his first ever bombing mission for the U.S. Army Air Corps. A plane he was in was shot down over Austria. He parachuted to safety and miraculously only broke his right ankle in the process. My father never spoke about it. He told us very little. He still painful memories. He just didn't want to share with his children. He just never talked about it. Stanley was a prisoner of war for more than a year and received a Purple Heart for being wounded in that plane crash that took the lives of several other people inside. But after this hero died in 1987, that Purple Heart he was awarded went missing. I have all my father's medals and all of his other memorabilia, but I didn't have the Purple Heart for some reason. Decades later, after his house on Buffalo's east side was sold, new owners found the medal inside an old dresser, and the search was on to find his family. You have to. You have to honor the, our servicemen and women. That's when Diane Blazer tells me she got a call. Diane is the president of the Buffalo Irish Genealogy Society, and with the help of the Military Order of the Purple Heart, she tracked down Stanley's daughter, Lynn. I found her dad's death notice and list the survivors, and Lynn was one of them. And I got a phone call that they, someone located my father's Purple Heart. I was beside myself. I was broken to tears. I was I couldn't believe it. Jim Schaller with the local chapter of the Military Order of the Purple Heart got this special moment Tuesday to return what belongs to Lynn and her family. It, it made me tear up a little uh, and to give it back to the family and see that she'll take care of it uh, the rest of her life is really priceless. A moment Lynn will cherish forever but vows to never let happen again. Definitely never again, never again. It'll never be out of our hands, believe me. Derek Hyde, 7 News, Buffalo.